for the people that asked for maps. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This is the walk. Hampshire Circular, List Forest, Longmoor, Chapel Common, St Luke's Church, Wreck. Circle. So you can get the train to List Forest, to List. And if you do, then you walk up the List Riverside Railway Walk. It used to be a railway, and it's, it's got some interesting sculptures on it. It's very nice. Um, and it starts right next to the train station. List, you just cross over the train lines, and there it is. Um, or you can park here at the Ministry of Defence Longmoor car park on Forest Road. Now, there are a plethora of ways of getting through Longmoor, and we went up around here. And yes, not all of them are marked. So, um, we came up here, and we jiggle jangled this way. Okay, and we headed along here, and we used some of the smaller paths across here but I'm trying to get us to the right exit along here so that you know how to get to travel and we came down here and walked along there and hopefully I've got us to the right one for our exit concentrating and then we walked down this way to there. And then we walked across the train line. So yes, always keeping your eye on the train line because there's only a few ways to cross it. Though at this case, it's a over the top as it is in my video. And then we walked down here and then much as that looks like a path on the outdoor active um that's a road and so we walked along the road not very well used and this is the six ways that i mentioned in my video and at this point we're on chapel common and this is the edge of the tree line as you can see we walked along here and then we crossed the B2070 at that point and we walked parallel to the B2070 to get to St Luke's Church. At St Luke's we went through, there is uh, water provided at the back of between the church and the chapel and we walked out through the gate at the back of St Luke's and along here and down all the steps uh, this is a polo field by the looks of it but anyway we didn't walk that way this time you can walk along here but it's not as pretty anyway we walked all the steps down there and along the bottom of the rake hanger Along, 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 lovely lakes. Along, 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 along. There is further ways to go there that are not marked on my map. But we did this double dot. And we found out eventually what that is. I think that's where two people walking side by side have walked down on the outdoor active app and have then left us with this strange double dash. Uh, at this point, you can just walk into Rake up the road, the Cam House Lane, but we went up here, and it was also very beautiful. And up here, again, it is possible to do this extra loop, but there's a linking road not on the app that we walked and we walked through here down what i believe are rhododendrons please correct me if i'm wrong by putting in comments down below along long 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 
and came out just by Sandy Lane, which is not that one, it's this one here, along Sandy Lane, and then up the steep part. This has got quite a bit of holly on the ground, so it's good to uh, drag your feet in order to get the holly out of the way of your dog's sensitive luppers. We got to the main road and crossed over near V signs and walked down Primrose Lane and this again is a road uh, and on the app it's marked as a path but when it's marked as a path it usually means that any road traffic goes very slowly and it does indeed because Primrose Lane has got quite a lot of um, stones and stuff it's, it's not really a tarmac road and then we go left along here, and then Barron's Lake, up there, up there, up there, up there, up there. Now we've got to get across the train line, and that's where we get across the train line at Mint Road. This bit is very muddy, and when there's been rain, and there's some very interesting plants here, which again, I don't know what they are, but they're huge, watery, marshy plants. I mean, we go along there, they're along there. Very muddy here. Bring Wellingtons if it's in the winter or if it's been raining. And then you can either go down Warren Road back into this forest as we did, or you can go back to the MOD and walk down the MOD there. But we were a bit tired. And so the loop was all, um, using my memory, I think it was like five hours. Please put it in my comments underneath my YouTube. If it takes longer, my YouTubes are all available. That's the way again to get back. Uh, following the river into list itself if you're going back to the train station yes please put it in comments if it takes you longer or less time and to get all my YouTubes you look at Gary Stevens Huckleberry Walks bye